going on guys it's tuned up tie right now and this is the beginning of a very long journey in the new car that i'll be displaying on this youtube channel um i just want to introduce myself my name is tyler graham i'm from new jersey um currently 20 years old and i will be doing a whole bunch of car stuff on this youtube channel i'm planning to make this car that i'll be showing you guys the car of the channel i have so many ideas i want to tune this car i want to possibly give it a new paint job not sure about that i also want to be you know doing my tutorials as i'll be learning along the way as well with you guys and i want to like any little thing that i do to the car any upgrades any something any changes at all i want to be able to show you guys and i want to be able to post it on youtube for you guys that's how i want this channel to grow you know um yeah, uh, this is going to be my first very YouTube channel, and I know it's going to be a little shaky in the beginning. I'm still learning YouTube, still learning how to edit my videos, but at the same time, I know as time progresses, you know, we're going to get better as a whole. So, off to the rip, this is my new car. I don't know if you guys already can tell, but we're going to take you outside for a quick second. My first car is a 2014 BMW 335 X Drive. And I don't know if you can already tell, it has some blemishes already. Oh wow, I actually have a B I'm trying to get into my intercooler. That's cool. But <laughs> uh, yeah, this is my car, yo. Uh, I recently just got this from Delaware. I drove all the way down from New Jersey to Delaware with my father. Uh, we traded uh, my old E90. 330xi for this car and sorry about the plane yeah so i traded my old bmw 2006 e90 for this and in my opinion it's well worth the trade in i had a lot of issues with my e90 and a lot of the issues were you know problems from the previous owner that i couldn't really do much with it was a family-owned car and i just had to one i had to be the one to pick up on the maintenance upon it so um don't worry about my hair i know I'm, I'm doing bad right now i'm really i'm really messed up <laughs> but we're gonna get that all fixed soon so back to the car right i drove down to delaware with my father we went to a jeep dodge ram dealership and we picked up the car treated it in i was able to finance it for 19k and it's fully loaded as you can see the car has a lot of stuff done to it i didn't really do much at all in fact i didn't really do anything yet but everything that you see in the car came just as is from the previous owner um he tinted the windows he got a whole blacked out look from the trimming he did these rims i can't tell specifically what brand these are but if you do let me know in the in the, in the comment section below um he obviously lowered it he got rid of the run flat tires he's running lexani tires to be exact i'm not sure if he's running coilovers or springs probably coilovers I believe there's a um, a spacer added onto the rim because this is obviously not a stance stock. I mean, a stock stance. But yeah, um, he has a carbon fiber lip spoiler that he added on. I'm not sure. Maybe Keys Motorsports. Uh, it's obviously high quality. It doesn't have any like gaps or in between from the trunk lid. Um, I got a carbon fiber diffuser underneath. Uh, as you can see, these are not stock tips. I actually added these on. I'll make a whole YouTube video later on about that. But as you can see, these are stock tips. I mean, not stock tips. These are aftermarket tips. Um, wrapping around again. Still got that whole blacked out look. I'm pretty sure this is probably 20% tint. I believe so. I do want to make the windshield tinted as I hate the, the openness look into the cabin, you know. Um, I also got these carbon fiber mirror caps. I'm not sure what brand or where they came from, but carbon fiber mirror tips. I do not have the sequential LED uh, turn cell markers, but they are smoked out. Um, as for the front end, I got stock headlights. I recently had a headlight tint that was on the vehicle, but I removed it because I didn't want to have, you know, lessen the visibility at night. So, as you can see in the result of that, I'm not sure if it was from 
uh, beforehand or if this is the reason why the old the owner before me did it but they are cracks in the inside I'm not sure if you could see that but there are cracks in the inside of the lens so I do have to change that um, I'm hoping that it's just uh, I have to change the lens and I don't actually have to change the entire front end about it I mean the front uh, assembly for the headlight but I do have to change that uh, the owner does have some blacked out roundels uh, I do like that it gives a whole nice uh, even blacked out look he did change the v-bar brace to a red wrap I believe either wrapped or paint I'm not sure yet but um yeah he wrapped that I know my front splitters are kind of fucked up you don't gotta remind me but I'm hoping that these are just snap on uh I do want to have to get a heat gun I need to replace these because I hate this this cracked look right now although these are forged carbon they look nice but I hate that, that cracked look on the front end but yeah I'm hoping to do a YouTube video on that as well any little changes I do I'm going to post this on the channel um as you can see in the inside we do have the red gut interior and I love that about this car we have red gut interior seats are actually in pretty pristine condition don't mind my stuff here pretty pristine condition you know I really love that about this car I really wanted to get an F30 with red guts but I couldn't because everyone for some reason either has the black seats or the brown and I didn't want that at all um previous owner obviously he got this carbon fiber trim i best i believe it's wrapped i don't think it's the actual plastic that was changed out but he did get this uh change the carbon fiber which looks pretty nice it's kind of like a dry finish you can feel it on the outside um did the same thing with the shifter housing on the base um same thing on the dashboard you got carbon fiber over here uh as for the ambient lighting I did do that myself that wasn't original from the car I do want to do a video about that even though I already <laughs> I already changed that about the car I do want to do a video about that that is something that I was originally gonna put on the YouTube I just couldn't wait to do it so I'm still gonna make a video don't worry it's gonna happen on the way and one time one day one time one day but anything oh this also was from the original owner. It's a phone mount. I can't really use it because my, for some reason, my phone isn't my phone isn't that magnetic on the back. I guess I guess I need to get like a clip or something. Um, I did install this little phone mount. It's pretty decent. It's pretty sturdy. You could change it sideways or whatever. Um, little two dollar, you know, air freshener. Um, what else? We do have the M Sport package, so you can see we have the M Sport steering wheel. Comes with adaptive suspension. And you get the end sport front fascia and rear fascia. Uh, we do have the paddle shifters. I don't really use them as much because I just like to, you know, just sit back and cruise. But you could use the paddle shifters if you would like. Um, the previous owner did a carbon wrap as well on this plastic trim. It sticks on pretty good. I haven't had any issues with it. Um, the edges are a little bit lifting up, but. Um, Aside from that, it's pretty good, you know? The interior of the of the cabin is really, really pristine condition. I need to wash these out. They're not dirty at all. It's just, I mean, it is dirty, but it's not in bad condition. It just needs a simple spray in. These are the X-Drive, almost like WeatherTech floor liners for both driver and passenger. Uh, there's no, there's no, um, what you call it? Any floor liners for the back seat, just as for the front. But, um, it is pretty nice. I love the interior. I love the. Uh, I'm sorry. I love the interior. It's my favorite part of the car. Um, I do plan to keep this even after my financial contract with Wells Fargo, as who they own the car. I do plan to keep the car. It's my first ever ever BMW in my name. Um, the E90 I had beforehand, which I will post pictures in the video for this in a few. I don't know if it's gonna be here, there, or there. But I did have an E90 and it wasn't under my name, it was under my dad's name, so I couldn't really do much to it. But this, I plan to do a whole lot of shit to it. Um, it's gonna be the complete build of the, uh, of the channel. One more thing, as I forgot to mention, we do have the, I don't know if you can see it, but 
there is a heads up display that we have in the car um yeah i don't know if you can really see it but it does show miles per hour whatnot navigation when you're using it and the music you can change that too All right. so yeah that is another cool feature about the car um i did install my uh uniden r7 police detector radar detector however you want to say it it has saved me numerous times from when i'm in the city not really much in jersey because there's not much you know police cameras or whatnot but in the city there is a bunch of um cameras and, and sensors and radars that they go after you well, a lot more than jersey so it's helped me tons whenever i'm in the city as for new jersey not as much because i don't really have to rely on it because we're not really police heavy i mean radar heavy in jersey um i'll do a complete video on that as well um that's pretty much it yeah for the inside you know it's pretty much it uh this is my first video once again um i do plan on doing a bunch of stuff i also want to learn from you guys as well from you guys on the f30 community any people who are also trying to get an f30 i want to learn from you guys and any info you got um greatly help out the channel uh, i plan to upload at least once a week my schedule is going to be kind of hectic because I am in school right now and I do work full time. So it's going to be a little chaotic, but I do hope to at least upload once a week. I want to be consistent. I don't want to be no channel that, you know, dies down or uploads like every three months. Now, nah, I don't want to do none of that shit. Um, yeah, so that's what's going to be for the channel, man. I hope you guys uh, enjoy my content coming forth. Um, I do really want this channel to grow. I want this channel to be uh, like a learning community with you guys as well. Um, yeah, and just thank you so much, you guys, for watching the video. Please like, subscribe, comment if you got any questions. If you guys any want to drop or give me some knowledge, I'll greatly appreciate that. But as for now, it's tuned up tie. I'll see you guys later, man.